<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the hook are y'all? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Today, have I got something for you? Yes. If you remember last week, that's over there last week, we did a comparison, uh, thanks to Brandon B, uh, with the new um, Range Rover Hot Wheels and the Range Rover Matchbox. Well, today I'm like, hey, why don't we do the head-to-head -head Hot Wheels Defender 90 and the Matchbox Defender 90? That's right. So this is the newest, latest one that's come out. Uh, recolor for the Hot Wheels, and uh, yes, excited, awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, two colors so far on um, on this one, the, the red one, which uh, came out obviously last year because this is the start of 2021, and this just came out. So, uh, and this, by the way, is the latest color of the uh, Defender uh, 90 spelled out. Well, now they changed it to Land Rover 90. This is the latest color and it is from the, uh, um, Target exclusive retro. And, uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take these apart. So if you're squimish and, uh, you know, you just ate a big lunch and you might not be able to handle, uh, you know, drilling stuff out, uh, you know, be prepared. But anyway, we're going to do this one. This is the first one that they did, and I already pre-drilled this one uh, for some other reason. But uh, anyway, this is the latest one. These are so hard to come by. We're just going to set that over to the side and uh, not drill that one apart. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and start the review here. Uh, we're going to start with the, uh, let's start with a matchbox. Now, if you guys remember, this is a redo, this is a re-casting um, for Matchbox. Um, they, it was a plastic part with a metal base, metal body, big bulky undercarriage. But uh, this is really a the benchmark, if you ask me, for die-cast Land Rover Defender 90 casting this is it and they did an excellent job uh retooling it and making it a one piece the other one had a plastic piece that was on top that uh was kind of cool it normally was white and uh but that would fade out and turn yellow but it was kind of cool in that way um same basic wheels they put on it but beautiful the um dimensions are great great big bull got bar on the front i love that style bull bar uh awesome a lot of times they were tagged the old ones were tagged and pulled out there they grabbed a bull beautiful uh eyebrow fender flares there uh very very nice the only thing um other than that details there's details for the door latches the hinges uh, the backside, look at all the detail there. Now, some of them got to be um, detailed back there. And uh, if you want to watch a, a Matchbox, I did a whole series of these because uh, there's like 90 some plus ver variations from the start to the end. So if you want to check that out, I'll tag that playlist at the end. So very, very nice, beautiful. I know there's a big, huge post in the back now. But man, it's a toy. What can you do? Um, but uh, it, it is a right hooker, which is fine with me. Beautiful tan. The only balk that I have for this is there are no mirrors. Now, if you notice, the Hot Wheels does have mirrors on it. That's cool. That's about the only thing that I've got, you know, a buck about here is there is no side mirrors but otherwise the the detailing the casting itself is beautiful they're just it's just a great a great casting um the other thing that if i was going to uh i lost my pencil here it is that they could refine this this is a huge casting line here where they uh 
cast that and man oh man i know that there's a you know the front wing to a land rover is three parts the top the side and the front but holy cow that is a huge i mean this side's not that bad but yeah so they could do a little bit better that way but uh, otherwise just a very very nice vice mount you can kind of see that bull bar a little bit better there's headlights turn signals in there behind there so very very nice like it a lot well let's take this one apart while we're at it and then we'll get into the hot wheels so a couple years back mattel went through a re um whatever manufacturing and everything where they're die cast five parts i believe is the um, the max that a car could have so part one would be the body and very simple very uh, straightforward they try to cut back on the metal of course uh, so this one is not a well used or overly used uh, casting because it has so much metal on it the next part would be the window this one happens to be a blue blue color very nice slides right in here you got to catch that rear post and then the interior which hasn't changed much at all I think they trimmed a little bit here on the front and uh, beefed up the, uh, let's get focus here, that black part's kind of hard to focus on. Uh, but yeah, they pretty much kept the same interior, the, the bucket seats in the back, uh, you know, they're, they're not really buckets, they're more individual bench seats, <laughs> but very cool there. Um, very, very uh, simple, plain, straightforward. And then the base. The base is kind of, once again, they're going with uh, plastic, no more metal. It has the double um, axle pinch <laughs> holders there, so it doesn't have much um, flex to the wheels. You know, if you have a center, center one, you can kind of, you know, get a little bit more uh, flex out of those steel axles, but due to the, I'm gonna guess due to the uh, Posts being there you don't have room to do a center thing tail toe hitch on it So very very cool that way. So there you go. Very very nice. So one two three four and then uh, one two three and then the wheels are four so very very cool very cool. All right Let's move right along. Let's get into the Hot Wheels so I have taken a look at this casting before, but uh, very, very nice. Added details here is the sunroof on, or the, uh, yeah, the little sunroof on there. Four bars versus the traditional three bars that uh, Matchbox started out with. It's got the raised intake hood there. That's kind of a neat updated classic. You know, this is uh, more of the later Defenders. Um, has a little bit of more details in the windows there. You can see the, the what would be a seam for two pane windows. Same kind of detail. It's got the, uh, oh, come on, let's focus. The uh, latest, greatest generation door handles versus the, the lever latch. No bull guard or brush guard or anything like that, but it does have a winch. Now, the, the, the grill is one part. The interior and the uh, skid plate and the winch is the base. But like I say, this one has got a little bit more details because it's got the mirrors there. Um, has windshield wipers. The, the Matchbox didn't have windshield wipers. But this is just in a plastic part. But it is kind of nice to have that kind of added uh, feature there. Now this is all enclosed as well back behind here now we've got a spare tire here which we didn't have a spare tire on the uh on the matchbox so that is nice they incorporated that like i say but this is a newer casting this is uh, you know they cad printing and and all this where this is kind of a rehash of an old casting that was the old i'm sure they clayed and and molded and shaped and you know the old pencil and ruler where this was probably done on a CAD program um, on a computer so they were able to get more um, 
details in it. Let's uh, continue on the back. So it's very, very nice. I like that the added rivets and stuff like that. That is really kind of cool. Uh, good casting there. And of course the eyebrows, the, the, the eyebrows on the window uh, uh, wheel arches, you know, they can paint those. Those are really kind of nice. Gas cap there. We just kind of took a look at that red one because that one's painted. Gas filler vents awesome awesome but it's really nice to have the back tire uh you know traditionally the old school would have it on the hood but uh yeah we don't have that the only gripe that i have about this um the hot wheels versus the matchbox matchbox is traditional wheel selection they don't get crazy with uh big honking wheels and stuff like that which is more of a europe thing uh standard wheels tall skinny slice through the mud the americans are the ones with the big honking wheels and the mutters and all this uh they fit they fit they're good they're not like the uh 130 wagons double cabs that we had which were wagon wheels these are all right but they're still pretty big pretty big uh but yeah they're they fit they're good good match but they are bigger that's for sure but that helps it roll better all right let's get at this here oh hey i already drilled this one apart let's take a look at it i thought i didn't have this one drilled apart but i have this one drilled apart already so here we go part one is the body so very kind of cool there uh let's just kind of line these up here so they're basically the same uh size and stuff like that the uh matchbox is a little bit bigger right? just a little bit so pretty cool that way you know they're but uh and it is obviously heavier so very kind of cool yeah you can see this one's got uh so far smoked windows on the uh hot wheels but uh and usually this is clearer window too for matchbox so there you go and then you can see here yes a larger <clears throat> excuse me much larger loading capacity there <laughs> just a very bit bigger vehicle but you can see the details uh you know matchbox needs to redo uh their their defender if they're going to do it but they'll probably move on to another uh model probably let's hope so that discovery would be nice a new discovery or uh you know the the range rovers that they're doing is very nice but yeah they need to pick pick things up left hooker on this one uh yeah that's a big old uh cup holder right there in the middle <laughs> pretty awesome there and then down to the base once again they're the same kind of um base two two post uh axle holds on the outer sides of them but uh yeah you can see you can see that the wheel selection even though this is a bigger mover as smaller wheels where this one is a smaller and they just got bigger wheels on it but it does fit it does fit this one's got some uh rock sliders on the sides you know and that uh grill and and our uh, grill the slid skid plate and the uh winch yes winch all right so there you go there you have it we take a look at the uh, matchbox versus hot wheels uh both excellent excellent i am just so tickled pink to have any of them uh that is just so awesome to have uh land rovers uh in there i know hot wheels has got the uh licensing now uh and they are going to pump them out which is just fine with me um i love it i love it any <laughs> we can do more things i got plans with these things and uh we're gonna have fun with them so yeah there we go ladies and gentlemen a little recap well, while i get this all bumped around of the uh two manufacturers hot wheels versus matchbox very nice cars both excellent in their own right and in their own time so there you go all right tell me in the comments down below which one you like better get give me a big thumbs up now that i focused in go over to facebook roverland on facebook instagram roverland channel all right i'm out of here thanks for joining me today and as always slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day